My name is Tammy Hutchin, and I've been fusing glass for about 12 years. And um, part of the appeal of working with glass is the color. I love colored glass. I've always loved colored glass. And um, that's often the starting point when I'm working on a piece of art is the color. And this particular body of work is based on West Coast imagery, uh, which I um, I live on the West Coast, so it's really important to me, the environment, the sacredness of the wild salmon, the forests, how it's all connected and interconnected. And so that, that's where this body of work uh, came from. And the salmon, uh, some of them are really large, like they're 30, 30, they're about three feet long, some of them. So they're like, like what a big wild salmon would be like. And it's just about the importance of keeping things wild keeping our coast wild and uh, I'm expressing it through my glass art. Well, yeah, a lot of wildlife has appeared in my art over the years. Sometimes after I've been traveling and I've seen, uh, like the first time I traveled to tropical places where there was parrots and parakeets and uh, macaws and birds like that. So I did a whole series with banana trees, big glass, steel and glass banana trees with bright colored parrots. And um, I've had buffalo, and a lot of it is involving animals and the spirit of what the animal, the, the animal spirit, basically, the spirit of wildness. Uh, my studio is on Gabriel Island, and it's just right where I live. So my house is, we ha I have an acreage, we live on an acreage, and so my house is on one part, and my studio is just a walk across the yard, and that's where I have my kilns and my glass table and all of my supplies, and yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm just talking to Efren. Hi Efren, Nixie Barton here, um, partaking in a show uh, called Wildlife with Grant Lear and Tammy Hudgen and myself. Um, because it's wildlife, Grant has done big beautiful uh, canvas acrylic paintings, deer, bear, elk, whatever, wildlife, Tammy, a uh, fish, also fish, Tammy's done fish, bear, all the sort of wildlife. I do not paint wildlife myself, um, but I should say that if I were to paint a horse or a bear better than them, I probably would do it. Bye, Gail. Bye. See you later, darlings. Um, my technique is uh, encaustic. And what came to me uh, when I was thinking about this show was because I do a lot of landscape. So I was thinking, OK, I will do the landscape where the wildlife would live. And I paint a lot in encaustic, which is wax, which I uh, heat up in a fry pan in my studio and uh, pigmented oil paint, powdered pigment, etc. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, so I'm painting with molten wax and this to me looked like a like a landscape where you would probably see the little wildlife roaming. And what came to mind was barbed wire because you see barbed wire everywhere, fields, pastures. Um, anyway, I've done the uh, encaustic and a blotch of white encaustic scratched into it, scratched out the barbed wire, filled it with black wax and scraped it off. Um, dripped uh, and then coated the whole thing in black oil to give it a, a oh sorry to give it a texture 
Uh, the bottom piece is uh, tumbleweed, painted tumbleweed. So the bottom part is acrylic. Uh, asked a friend last year to bring me back some tumbleweed uh, growing up in Penticton, dry, hot, humid, smell of sage in the air, tumbleweed rolling around the streets. He brought me back a huge bag. I did not know that I would ever use it. I just like it. Um, anyway, since this show, I have used the tumbleweed. Uh, this part here is just painted, like I said before. But underneath, I've actually used um, the actual tumbleweed that I've taken apart, uh, bound together like five or six strands, wrapped it in wire. Um, coated the whole thing in paint, then I coated the whole thing in resin, which Grant uses, but when he was mixing up the resin for his paintings, I just kind of snuck in there and used the bucket. Anyway, this part has got the resin on it, plus the actual um, tumbleweed bundles have resin to help protect it. Hence, that is my wildlife statement for this show. Thanks, Efren. My name's Grant Lear, and welcome to the show. This is uh, the most recent series of work I've done, and it's all animal-based imagery, mostly indigenous animals. I've been painting for 35 years. The last 20 years, I was doing more illustrative works that uh, were in a series called the Romance Series, which were lots of still lifes with magnolias and urns and um, patterned cloth, um, exotic imagery, and all acrylic on canvas. Then last fall, I started working on animal imagery, which is much looser, still in acrylic on canvas, but they have, uh, they're glazed with acrylic, uh, pigmented acrylic that um, I wipe off and scrape with a squeegee and create this wonderful texture over top of the painted image. And then I've coated the surf surface of the canvas with a two-part epoxy resin which brings the color back up that gets dead down during the glazing process and it gives you a rich glass-like surface. So that's what I'm doing right now and I'm really excited about it. So you stop doing flowers? No, no, um, not currently. This is brand new and I want to stick with this for a while because I'm really excited about it. So what that taught you so much about animals? Um, well, I used to work at the zoo in Calgary, <laughs> but um, I've looked at wildlife art off and on over the years, and I've never ever been a fan of it, but there's something about it at this point in my career seemed really appealing that I could approach it with a basis of just color and energy in the work as opposed to a likeness of the animal, and so I'm trying to just really create something exciting that you can tell it's a bear or a salmon or whatever, but the painting is more about the color and the texture and the surface.